up the door. We have the valve down at the bottom. It's a three inch cam lock valve. We fold, uh, there's a safety cover on it. We took that off. Now we're going to hook on our hose. So the cam lock closes. We put a safety on that cam lock to keep it secured. I'm going to show you. So this is the inside of the container. You can see the bag of oil. It is bulged up above this bracket in the back. Like I said earlier, we leave that left door closed. That helps support the metal framework until the oil, we get it down at least halfway. So here's the hose. We use a three inch sanitary hose and we will be hooking that up. I'll get you a little view of this. We're going to be hooking that up to the front of our pump. So this, the hose that we use is fairly flexible. And here again, we will put a safety on there to keep the cams closed. And then once we've hooked up our pump and to the flexi, we're going to go ahead and open the flexi now. Most of the flexis have a little safety on their valve. It's a little knob or maybe underneath the handle or on top. Just pull that up and then open the, open the valve. And what we're doing now is we're priming our pump. Our pump's an impeller pump so it likes to run wet or basically filled with oil. And then we'll go ahead and we'll start it up. As the, flex, as the flexi starts to empty, you'll see the bag slowly lowering inside the container. We'll do a couple more short clips as we go to show you what that is. And then also we'll show you our pump setup here real quick. When we pump flexies, we hook up through the three inch line and onto the flexies valve that we showed you earlier. And then we go ahead and we run through a transfer pump. This is basically a just a wet transfer pump, meaning it likes to be flooded before it pumps. It doesn't pump air very well at all. So that's why we flooded it earlier. And then we go ahead and we run up through a three inch line that runs back to our tank farm. This is just another view of our pump we use to transfer out of a flexi. We prefer the three inch line or the two inch line just for the speed of transfer. It takes about half the time if we use a three inch line instead of a two inch line. Although you can use that, it'll just take you a little longer to empty your flexi. Even before you start to unload your flexi, it's a good idea to start by looking at the container to make sure there's no problems. Make sure there's no obvious leaks coming out of the flexies, no abnormal dense dings or gouges that might have been created during shipping or other problems that you might have that could cause a problem with inside the flexi. As part of our inspection process for receiving a flexi, we do an outside check of the flexi and then we install a kingpin lock. This just makes sure while we're connected to the flexi and pumping that a truck doesn't accidentally hook up to the flexi and try to pull it out of our dock as you can see, after less than 10 minutes, the flexi is already noticeably lower in the, in the container and it'll continue going down at this rate for quite a while yet. We'll fill one of our 6,000 gallon bulk tanks from a flexi in about a half hour using our setup.